are just naming them and uh, explaining the basic features the blue button which comes in line with uh, the uh, it's around a linux platform and this is very ideal for moodle or those who are using the moodle version blue button will be the ideal platform for them to have an interaction this is a screen that you see all facilities available this these are the standard facilities now every platform every conference platform offers you have a chat facility you have uh, maybe screen sharing polling that just now we have been conducting multi user whiteboard breakout classrooms all this is uh, been offered by number of diverse platforms right also blue button is a big player in that they also have the same kind of a diversity and variety and you have, you can audio video sharing is possible presentation extended whiteboard zooming public and private chats available breakout rooms you can split classes into smaller ones and have different classrooms engaged simultaneously screen sharing facility all this is there in uh, the blue button app and it it links quite well with the moodle platform right and uh, viewer it is very quite user friendly quite viewer friendly and you can definitely mute and mute others just like what we do in zoom just now eject any user from the session and make any user the current presenter screen sharing option all this is available in blue button this is a wonderful platform to use especially when you are using moodle the disadvantage is that customization if different parts is not so easy so you need to be quite well versed in this particular technology a initial user may find it little difficult initially and the recorded sessions will last only for 14 days and there is no attendance taking possible which now i think the uh, the government and the colleges are very strict about you have to look forward to another platform if you want attendance to be taken meet is definitely a very strong competitor now and all that it is the, the one very advantage the the great advantage over others uh, for meet is that it is by google and uh, it's highly secured and host about 150 they say that 250 can join but of course when more than 150 people join i think meet has certain problems especially the free version and this is the screen you have and if you have the google calendar installed along with you can definitely uh, engage uh, schedule classes in advance normally you just start a meeting then and there there is a nine letter uh, uh, that code meeting code is generated and you just share you can just with one click you can all join and similarly as we were discussing in the earlier sessions jamboard can be accessed google classrooms can be clubbed along with this and of course a uh, google uh, meet can definitely go in hand with all the google applications and though if you are very uh, familiar or maybe you are when using a gmail account it is easy for you to have access on google meet attendance also can be taken you just uh, uh, make a chrome extension of a attendance uh, program so that attendance can be taken then and there even you need not take attendance as such uh, attendance will be automatically recorded the g suite that dr premanand was referring to g suite if you have a g suite you have so many advantages as i described otherwise you need to have a google account to access meet G Suite accounts have more facility, and if you are, uh, if you can, it is I think one of the uh, easily used or maybe one of the mostly used platforms uh, apart from Zoom. Zoom and Google Meet are the most common platforms used in many of the educational institutions. Features, I, all all that features I have referred to Blue Button and Zoom. You have it runs both on iOS and Android platforms. Joining a meeting is very easy; just click and join, and there is a grid view. Definitely, you can see around almost 16 people. People you can see around. You get the view, and uh, you can also join by phone without video. That's also the facility available. Google Calendar can be integrated. Google Classroom can be integrated. All these possibilities are there. There is also a chat room. And attendance facility, video sharing also possible, screen sharing also possible. Now these are the some of the uh, screens that you see. You almost see 16 people. This is possible in a laptop. 
and I think nine in a uh, mobile phone. Disadvantage is that uh, you need to have a Chrome browser. It works best only in Chrome. Otherwise, you may find certain difficulties. One feature it doesn't have is whiteboard and poll. Polls are not available. Whiteboard, instead of whiteboard, you can use Jamboard if you have a Google user. So I think so all options are the only thing that separates Google Meet from other providers. This platform may be a bit new to you, Mikogo. That's a desktop pairing software application for web conferencing. It provides software access to both in Windows and Mac platforms. And of course, this is one of the interesting platform, not very crowded either. But only thing is that the, the students and uh, you have to download that and keep it because students have already downloaded many apps. So it is ideal that you stick into one or two basic apps in college so that uh, the, the storage space will be very limited as far as our students are concerned because they fill their uh, memory with all kinds of videos and even uh, profile pictures and maybe selfies, right? Unlike uh, the, the my generation people. Features, almost all features of all other uh, major players of conference platforms, they have the same kind of a mechanism. All this is available. And uh, the disadvantage is that there is some trouble in installing the software. I think by now they have, might have come, at, come out of it. It is comparatively less technical support. If you have a problem, you, you may not get that kind of a support as you get in Google meet zoom or even in blue button right there is also at times problems with audio and video which is very likely on any web conferencing platform zoho is another very upcoming platform and of course uh, your privacy is given greatest priority here you can moderate control of an entire meeting you are the you are, you are the unchallenged unquestioned master you can do everything and anything and record your meetings and all the facilities it has like any other it has a, a secure audio video remote access feature participants can use chat option send email invitation topic agenda date time everything can be included measured mentioned in that and of course you have all the facility like polling answering questions q and a raise the hand option and it is very ideal for a webinar as well Disadvantage is that there is a share screening experience is a bit poor compared to other platforms. It is not considered as the easiest software to manage for a, a, a beginner. And we have to install a plugin at the first time. So students need to be told about or maybe instructed about how this has to be used. There is some kind of tutorial needed. Zoom, without saying uh, you have been using this, uh, for the entire webinar. All of you know that all the features Zoom has. This is the kind of a screen. It has a better security now and we have made it more secure because our students are actually a bit concerned about the security. So we made it very secure that we made our students enter through a particular website of ours. So we wanted to make it very sure. Now they have come up with a 5.0 version which is more secure, right? It is very audible and clarity is very high. And uh, I'm sure we never had any glitch in this webinar at all, except that I went out because of my poor connectivity. And pros and cons is that pros, there are so many things on one side and the disadvantage is that it is expensive because you need to pay to use it for after the 40 minutes free time. And video on Zoom terms, it is blurry. So ideally we have not used video so far only towards the end. I mean, even at the end, we have not used, we have been using audio only because when you use Zoom, it takes larger data. So uh, whenever you take class for students, using video will cause them uh, uh, have more data. So it is uh, always advisable that you use it on an audio platform, limit to a audio platform. Another uh, very interesting platform is Jitsi. Jitsi is again, uh, one of the best platforms I have come across works on Windows and Linux as well. Open source uh, JavaScript is used. One can <coughs> share the desktop presentations and with a, just a link, right? Jitsi is a very upcoming and I think many of the 
computer science departments and many of the technical support departments are using this as a platform and to end and encryption is there and there is no need of a new client software installation you can just log in uh, you you have to install it on the mobile but if you are using a laptop you need not install it see you can just type and click on to it it has call your uh, call recording video audio facilities whiteboard audio etc group support disadvantage is that if you are setting up for your server there are in very detailed guides on how to set up each components so you need to study by yourself tutorial is lacking and it is reviewed that many people have technical issues of course that is all marginal because uh, you be in india we don't have especially in kerala we don't have a good connectivity so online teaching has always been a great problematic in kerala especially in rural areas even i i i understand that in cities you have problems and coming to the last uh, resource webex without saying this is the best platform because cisco has been the right from beginning this is a, one of the best platforms i think government of kerala is using this or the asap team side they are using it and it is it is not a free platform uh, you have to pay for it but the payment they have reduced to almost uh, 15 dollars uh, per month and this platform has all the facilities and maybe one of the best platforms because technical support is maximum and it is been hosted by one of the best known giants in computer technology cisco so all this is there every whatever i have listed everything is there on uh, webex uh, and of course uh, you have to download that and keep it on your mo mobile as well as on your uh, laptop and these are some of the features you find you can just have a look at it without me detailing that and the last platform this is also happening this is a digital in meeting assistance meeting highlights keeping everyone in the loop real time transcription meeting recording transcripts cross meeting search all this is there for i'm just cutting it short because i don't have much time to explain all this in detail so just around. moving around and it is uh, primarily webex is expensive it's a paid platform is that customer support is limited for uh, the free and the startup plans you don't get much support for when you opt for the free version and last Uh, is Microsoft Teams. The last two are the best platforms, but maybe a bit expensive. Microsoft Teams. It's also a. Uh, it is available for free for all the uh, users. Fully integrated to my Office 365, uh, email, Skype, OneDrive, SharePoint. All this is Microsoft is offering a com comprehensive package, a compact package for that. And uh, the thing is that in Microsoft Teams, you you can't see other participants. thumbnails you just can see only yourself so you may not have the feeling of that's only my feeling you don't have the feeling of being sitting with others right and of course you have you can also integrate many of the tools like this what we have seen in the screen microsoft support is there uh, this is this is very professional kind of a platform and there are uh, office 365 without office 365 your options in teams are limited by default everybody in the organization created team it can result in a unnecessary creation of teams and suffering to storage spaces number of channels limited to 200 public and 30 private channels per team and this is the screenshot of a microsoft team participation yeah thank you so i have just rushed through uh, because we have we are running short of